What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I didn't feel like moving my big pile of crap to my chair where I usually am, so I just set up shop here in the toy corner. Um, so yeah, so at least you can see some cool Ninja Turtles and stuff in the background. But uh, this is a few months worth of stuff. Um, a lot of my Christmas gifts are also in this. Um, all of my Christmas gifts, I guess. Anything related, you know, you know what I mean. I got a bunch of gift cards for Christmas, so... And there's a buy two, get two free sale at uh, GameStop, and yeah, so got a bunch of stuff here. Uh, before, though, if you like pickups videos, Let's Plays, reviews, top tens, room tours, I'm going to do another room tour here, and then we are moving later this year into a much bigger house, and I'm going to have like a... I'm shooting for like a CJR type of game room setup, so that'll be cool to see. So if you want to see all that, be sure to subscribe, And uh, but without further ado... This is one of the Christmas gifts I got. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> it's the uh, Razer Raiju mobile controller. This thing's pretty cool. Uh, it'll hold your phone and then it tilts and stuff. It does a uh, wired connection or wireless and it will also work on your PC. Um, I got this because I have a cheap little mobile, um, mobile phone controller that I've been using but it's super cheap. Like with this, you can download the app and map the buttons and stuff however you want. There's like paddles in the background. And like it's kind of pricey, but it's well worth it. I I have loved this thing the whole time I've used it. It'll work for Fortnite and all that stuff too if you want to use it. Uh, this is actually a Christmas present I got for my fiance. I got her Assassin's Creed Odyssey the Gold Edition, which comes with the season pass and stuff. Sadly, a hiccup. I accidentally cut the slip cover. Um, the tape, the, like, seal tape was, like, melted on for some reason, so I'm trying to saw it across, and somehow the blade just went down, so, yeah. If you have one of these you want to send me, go for it. Um, she also picked up The Outer Worlds, this wasn't Christmas, but it was sitting here, so she really loved that game, though. It plays a lot like Fallout. Okay, so, a few of these are Christmas. Here's one of the Christmas games I got, uh, Darksiders 3. I love Darksiders. Um, I'm currently streaming Darksiders 2 uh, every now and then on the channel if you want to come see that. This makes me sad. Uh, I got Judgment, and you can see why it makes me sad. And I went to GameStop, and they said they didn't have a pre-owned copy to trade with me, so that sucks. I picked up Yakuza 0. By the way, if you don't know what Judgment is, it came out... 2019, I think. Um, it is a Yakuza spinoff, basically. Uh, we got Yakuza Zero, and I've been wanting this game for a really long time. It's nothing special. Um, I have the PS3 iteration of this game. It's not the version because they're different games, but it's a Sega Genesis Classics collection. The thing I didn't like about the PS3 one is I think you have to play through games to unlock other games, and I think you just have access to everything in this, so that's cool. Um, here's another Christmas game. I got Control. Uh, it was on sale and buy two, get two free. This game came out last year and it was up for Game of the Year, so I'm really excited to play that, actually. Um, I also got Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. I've been wanting this game for a while because of the slipcover. So I finally jumped on it. It's only like $20 on Amazon. Um, just sticking with Christmas games... Uh, my fiance got me Astral Chain, so I'm excited to try that. I've been wanting to try that game for a while. And Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I have this on the Wii U, but uh, let's be honest, we want the Switch version. Um, I got these for myself with gift cards. Got Goosebumps the Game on Switch. Uh, this is like a point-and-click adventure. I beat it and platinumed it actually on PS3. And the only way to get a physical copy of this game is the Switch or the 3DS, so I went for the Switch version. I'll probably just keep it sealed because I have it digital, so there's no point. It's a really cheap game. I think I got that for like under $10. Also, with that same gift card, got Luigi's Mansion on 3D, finally. 3DS. And uh, Majora's Mask 3D, the Nintendo Selects version. I did not know there was a Nintendo Selects version of this, um... If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I collect a lot of Zelda, and one aspect of that is getting every version 
every variant of every Zelda game. And so uh, I did not have the Nintendo Selects version of that one, so I picked that up. It was cheap. Um, got these two from Limited Run. We have Marinian Tavern Story, Patty and the Hungry God. So that looks kind of cool. And Run an Adventure Tavern in a Fantasy RPG. Patty's brother has been possessed by the God of Poverty. To pay back the debts, let's open a tavern in Marinia. I know nothing about it. It looked interesting. And I got Children of Zodiarchs. And they all come with a card that I stick in there. Uh, this one I picked up because uh, Game of the Month on Facebook. It's basically a book club that we do every month. We've been doing it for like three years now, maybe. Uh, we we all vote a game, and then whatever game wins, we all play through. So Buffy the Vampire Slayer won last month, I believe. And uh, I don't have my 360. I need to pull my 360 out to play this. So I went ahead and grabbed the game just so when I get around to it, I can do that couple more limited run things here we have a uh, power rangers battle for the grid this is a power rangers fighting game and that's an actual coin by the way it came with like all the coins not for every just for the mighty morphin power rangers you know the five coins or six maybe uh but yeah this is like the collector's edition thought that was pretty sweet and also two games that i was obsessed with when i was younger uh on n64 you know, kids nowadays, they start out with Call of Duty and stuff like that. Uh, my first-person shooter journey started with Turok. I was obsessed with the Turok series. So, uh, these are the remaster versions. They're also on Xbox and Steam. And that's how I choose to play them, just because I'm an achievement whore and Switch doesn't have achievements. But this is the only way to get them physical. So, I got the two-pack here, just for the collection. Pretty sweet. Um... This is also a limited run game, Time Spinner, I think, yeah. Pretty sweet. Oh, I put the Turok card in there as well because I'm not opening that. But there's the back of it. If you want to know what this is, uh, travel back in time to change fate itself. Uh, I don't know what kind of game this is. Uh, stop time to evade foes, use them as platforms, and solve puzzles. Sounds cool. I picked up Man of Medan, which is from the makers of uh, Until Dawn, so that's cool. I think it's co-op, too, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, I think these were birthday gifts. Wow, it's, I haven't done a pickups video since my birthday. Okay, we have Mario Maker 2 on Switch, and Luigi's Mansion 3 on Switch. Um, fiance accidentally got me the PAL version, like even the... Uh, card is different but that's okay it still works region free um we have another limited run game here as divine hearts 2 i think i have the first one pretty sure yeah i see it uh it's rpg with the world on the verge of being frozen and ice hearts unite once more so that's cool i'm always down for a good rpg okay now uh this next thing is you know shinmu 3 came out and I was one of the backers on Shinmu 3, so I have that here. I am really salty about this, though. So whenever I originally backed this game, I didn't know how much to back it, and I saw the, the if you wanted the physical version of it, you'd have to pay $60. So I was like, okay, that's cool, I'll do that. And it was like, comes with an exclusive backer case, and I was like, oh, so I'll get like a different box art than everyone else, I guess. That'll be cool. No. It's the same box art, but with this raggedy little... Literally, that's all it is. I got that for backing it. <laughs> so, I'm sure this backer case is probably, like, expensive on eBay now. But I was expecting, like, a whole different box art. You know what I mean? But whatever. It's okay. I'm just happy to... I'm just happy Shinmu 3 came out, and I'm happy that I was a part of that and helped that happen. So, uh, yeah, Shinmu 3... Um, I just finished a whole stream playthrough of Shinmu 1 Remastered. Got the Platinum on stream, so go check that out. Um, my friend got me two things here for my birthday. He got me the Legend of Zelda Uno playing cards. 
I already have this, but I'm really happy I got a second one because now I can play with one. You know, obviously wasn't going to play with the first one. And I really love Uno, so that's cool. And he also got me this uh, Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition Lynx Glass, which I will show you what this looks like. It's pretty sweet. It's got the uh, stained glass windows on, the, on it. This is an actual glass, too, by the way. Like, that thing's hard. That's what she said. Okay. Now, a little bit of a story with the second thing here. I might catch shit for this, and that's okay. Um, this was kind of an accident, but it was like an accident that I was like, fine, I, I guess that's okay. So, when Pokemon Sword and Shield came out, I wanted the double pack... And I thought there was only one double pack. Um, so I ordered the double pack on GameStop's website. Uh, a little before it comes out and it's going to be shipped, I noticed that Amazon has the same double pack for $20 less than GameStop. So you basically get $10 off of each game like that. So I was like, uh, yeah, cancel, grab the Amazon, you know, $20 cheaper one. And I got money back, I think, too, because you get money sometimes with uh, pre-order items. But anyways, so I did that, and uh, I post in... So I got this one. This is the two-pack. Uh, I post in my friend chat group. I'm like, I'm like, look, I just got this two-pack for uh, $20 less than the other, the other one. And they're like, oh, that's cool. I really wanted the uh, Steelbook two-pack. And I had remember seeing the Steelbook 2-pack on YouTube, but it was like a PAL version. Like, it was like a... Like, I knew it wasn't a U.S. version, so I figured it was like a PAL exclusive. And uh, they were like, yeah, the 2-pack uh, from Best Buy. And I was like, what? So I go on Best Buy's website, and they still have the 2-pack with the uh, Steelbook in it. And I was like, oh, gosh. So I order that, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to go cancel Amazon now. I went to cancel Amazon literally, like, maybe 30 minutes after placing the order, and it was like, cannot cancel. And I was just like, dang it, you know? <laughs> I was like, I, I literally just ordered this. Why can't I cancel? So, uh, I was like, I'll just return it when it comes in the mail, I guess. So I get both in the mail, and I was kind of like, you know what? You know how I told you I collect every variant of Zelda? I also do that with Pokemon. So I was like... Maybe I should keep the two different two-packs, you know? Should I do that? Is that irresponsible? I was, like, mulling it over. And I was like, meh, who cares? Oh, well. So, yeah. So now I have both two-packs. But uh, I opened this one to actually play play them. And I'm going to keep the Steelbook one sealed. So there's that. All right, the next thing here is got the strategy guide for Zelda. This came out a long time after the games actually came out, by the way, which is really weird. But, uh, yeah, I got the hardback. Um, I know you guys love the stories behind all these pickups, don't you? So uh, I got an email from Best Buy. It was like, hey, your $5 reward certificate uh, expires soon. It was like January or something. And I was like, I don't know what I'm going to... I just bought a bunch of Christmas presents. I'm not spending any more money. Uh, so it's probably going to expire. I'm not going to use it. And I get on Facebook, and my buddy's like, Hey, uh, Starlink on Switch is only five ninety nine right now at Best Buy or four ninety nine. I can't remember which one it was. And I was like, hmm, I do have a Best Buy reward certificate. So yeah, I did it, and I got this. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna play this actually, but I also kind of collect Nintendo like exclusives. And uh, I had this pre ordered originally when it first came out. I thought it was a an exclusive, and I was like, that's cool. It comes with the R Wing and Star Fox and everything. But uh, turns out it was on every system, so I was like, no, that's not worth it, I'm, I'm canceling that. But I always wanted it, I thought it was really cool, so to get this for basically free, or I might have paid a dollar, boom, I'll take it. And I also got the Nick box for the winter, I did a full unboxing of this on my channel, so go check that out. I uh, have a few more things here, don't run away yet. We have the Simon Amiibo. We have the Incineroar Amiibo. The Chrom Amiibo. The 
Spectre Knight, Plague Knight, and King Knight 3-pack. This thing I have had pre-ordered for literally like two years now, and it finally came out. I was like, holy crap. And then, last but not least, Amiibo-wise, we have the Shovel Knight Gold Edition, which, if the other Gold Editions tell you anything, this is going to be worth some money later. Uh, the Gold Mario was, like, kind of pricey for a while. I don't know if it still is. It was a Walmart exclusive, though, so you know how chaotic that got. <sighs> okay, we're out of the video game realm, so if you don't care about toys, thank you, and be sure to subscribe and all that stuff. But uh, I have toys now. So GameStop decided to put out the original Turtles again. This is the 1988 original series, and I love this box art. I think I have these Turtles like three different ways now, but look at this. This is so cool. Heck yeah. So this is going on the Turtle Shelf. And also, the NECA Bebop and Rocksteady. Shout out to Jorge. Um, his channel used to be G-Unit Kalima on on YouTube. What is it now? That Super S Squad, I think. I think that's their name. Uh, he picked these up for me. I'm very appreciative. I couldn't find them. So, uh, yeah. They also released the Foot Soldiers again, which I already have the Foot Soldiers. They released uh, the Turtles again, which I thought they were the same Turtles, but apparently they have different colors, so I kind of want that, but we'll see. This was the main, main thing, though. This is the main thing I wanted. Uh, this is another one of my Christmas presents. The Green Ranger and the Putty from Mighty Morphin. This is the Lightning Collection. Which I'm really liking the Lightning Collection, by the way. We also have, from the Lightning Collection, the Red Ranger. And Beast Morphers Blue Ranger. Lord Draken, who I'm so glad they made figures for. Um, he's one of the main villains in the comic series. Uh... So, he was never in the actual Mighty Morphin show. I won't give any of his backstory away, but very cool they decided to include him. And then we have Dino Charge Gold Ranger. Okay, so, that is everything, I believe. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.